Virtualization has vastly improved the speed of infrastructure operations when compared to the physical world. However, in most virtualized environments, the resources are still controlled and managed by IT admins. For developers, just acquiring the initial IT resources could take a few days to weeks. Moreover, every time the developer needs new resources, such as additional volumes, networks, routers, or load balancers, they have to go through the same arduous process of filing tickets and waiting. Many steps along the way require human intervention, causing longer time to business value, making it extremely challenging to adopt the continuous integration, continuous deployment model of the modern app world. This causes developers to bypass the IT staircase and go directly to the public cloud, thus creating a shadow IT problem in the enterprise. ZeroStack drastically speeds up the app deployment model by empowering the developer with a self-service portal, including a robust app store, without delays associated with service requests and resource allocation. The solution doesn't just focus on getting VMs, it also makes it easy to deploy multi-tiered apps using predefined or custom templates and provision additional resources with a few simple clicks. The developers can now deploy apps in minutes rather than days or weeks without requiring any knowledge or intervention from dedicated infrastructure admins, giving way to a culture that breeds innovation while IT remains in total control. Once logged in the ZeroStack hosted portal, I can view my current projects. A project is a set of resources made available to me for consumption. Cloud Admin can set a quota for each project to control usage, and the developer can check their usage against the allocated quota. As a developer, I want to start deploying applications as quickly as possible. ZeroStack makes it much easier as compared to the typical virtualization environments by providing a robust app store with predefined and custom application templates. The ZeroStack App Store contains a rich set of apps including Big Data, DevOps, Database, Data Analysis, and many others. Instead of installing these from scratch, I can import any of these pre-configured apps into my library. For example, I know I will be using Jenkins as my CI server for the new app, so I can import this to my library. In my library, I can see all of my apps. As I am able to import any of the pre-canned apps from the Z App Store, I can also upload custom templates purpose-built for my needs. I have created a template called DevBox, which I use for all of my app development projects. I can now deploy from this template. After giving it a name, I can specify type of image, networking, flavor of VM, and development environment best suited for this application. I would like to code this app in Python, so I select various packages for my needs, and if I want something more specific not available here, I can just type it in the Other Python Packages text field. And that's it, my dev environment is being created. Note that I did not need any virtualization, storage, or networking knowledge nor did I need to contact any admins to get me the required resources. All of the configuration was done on one single page. The top bar here shows me my self-service menu and lists all resources that I can configure and manage as per my needs. Using similar workflows, I can go back to my library and deploy Jenkins and a couple more dev boxes. My three dev VMs and Jenkins servers are created and ready for use. Clicking on the Summary tab, I can see my usage. I have four VMs running and I can see my CPU and memory consumption. This allows me to troubleshoot performance issues without always going to IT admins. Let's see how I can leverage some of the self-service menu items. I would like to assign some volumes to my dev boxes. I can do this by creating a couple of volumes on the Volume tab and depending upon the usage, I can pick a volume type, whether I need it to be high performance, fault tolerant, or both. I can then assign volumes to the appropriate VMs. A volume is a persistent store that can be made available as an independent entity, and I can add and detach volumes to VMs as needed. If I want additional networks, I can simply create a Layer 2 network by going to the Networking tab. I can create multiple such networks and can potentially deploy applications on separate, isolated networks for enhanced security. And if I want this new network to be accessible externally, I can create routers and attach it to my external network. I can then see my network topology to see which of my networks are internal versus which can talk externally. Here we can also see two private networks being connected via a router. If I want a load balancer for my app, I can also create that in the load balancer settings and assign members and even a health monitor to check whether my web app is running via a heartbeat on a specific port.
I can view a history of all of my events for this app by clicking on the app itself. As a developer, I can orchestrate this entire process through an API-driven workflow using ZeroStack's exposed OpenStack-based APIs. With ZeroStack, we can go from a Spark to an app in development within minutes and production without unnecessary delays and lengthy processes associated with inelastic infrastructure and operations. Any changes or additional resources required can be done by developers via a simple self-service portal, empowering them to innovate at the speed of idea. App Store enables deployment of complex apps very quickly while IT remains in complete control. IT can now lay down a racetrack where developers and business can go 200 miles per hour without getting a ticket. Discover more at ZeroStack.com or reach us via Twitter at ZeroStack Inc. for a demo.